Hello, my name is Sammy Kopecki, and I run a photography company called Samantha Kopecki Photography. I started about eight years ago, and I actually started because I fell in love with taking pictures of other people and learning stories about other people. Um, I get to storytell, which is one of my favorite parts of taking photos, and I consider myself a lifestyle photographer, which means I like to take pictures of all parts of life, uh, from seniors, weddings, families, engagements, basically you name it. Um, I believe a photographer should be there every step of the way, and I love being a photographer who is there every step of the way. It means I get to grow with people, grow with families, and get to learn more about them. Uh, I like to create glowy, joyful, and timeless photos. That's kind of my little tagline, um, and hopefully that's very evident throughout the photos that I show you today. My target market, so luckily everybody needs photos, so I'm trying to target specifically Manhattan and Kansas City people. Um, I'm kind of in that lower to middle price point for weddings, uh, kind of that middle price point for grad photos, and then uh, on the lower price point for engagement and proposal sessions with the intention of hopefully uh, moving on to that wedding range as well. And then uh, I do a lot of mini sessions or shorter sessions because I find it's easier for people and it's easier for me. Um, in terms of people, I definitely am trying to market to college students since I'm in Manhattan right now, Catholics, which is a really big part of their target market that I'm trying to get to, and then engaged couples who are prepared to be married. In terms of uh, my target market's needs, people are looking for photos that are done quickly but look clean and beautiful. Uh, overall, they want someone that they can trust and feel relaxed with and feel comfortable. They're looking for someone who also has strong in communication and a strong brand. So someone they can access easily, feel comfortable around, and again, photos that are done quickly but still look clean and beautiful. Market opportunities. There's definitely a lot of ways for my market to grow based on stage of life. Eventually, all my friends are going to start getting engaged and married. And then uh, now that those things are in full swing, uh, there's a lot of opportunities for mentorship as well. I would love to continue doing coaching calls, education courses, et cetera. And then there's a lot of opportunity for passive income. These are kind of the things I touch on for value proposition. Really, my experience is the biggest thing. Um, I keep it social, fun, comfortable, and because I'm the same age, uh, that just makes it a lot easier. I have a lot of schedule flexibility as a college student. I really try to focus on my quick and easy communication. One of my top value propositions, especially for weddings, is my fast post-processing time. Basically, it means you're going to get the photos really, really quickly. Um, I have Catholic values, which is huge for my Catholic clients, especially when I'm shooting weddings. Uh, they're looking for someone who understands the sacraments well and is praying for them every step of the way. And then I actually have seven plus years of experience, which means I've upgraded equipment. I've got uh, lighting, posing, and editing uh, down to a science. And then I also make sure to have those contracts and financial transparency throughout. Kind of looking into competitive analysis, I looked mostly in the Kansas City area, but these are st some of the starting prices for those who are shooting weddings. They're shooting for about an eight-hour day, which is around what I do. About I do about an eight to ten-hour day. Um, and then other photographer experience and services, uh, they tend to have a lot more weddings on in terms of experience, but a lot less years of experience. In terms of branding and marketing, I have a color palette that I try to stick to. I've got my primary, secondary, and favicon logos, and then these are the fonts that I like to stick to. Uh, hopefully these are transparent all throughout uh, my Instagram, my social media, and my website. My voice, as I said, glowy, timeless, and joyful photos. I call myself a lifestyle photographer, and hopefully I'm someone's biggest hype woman. Uh, I bring the personality, energy, and hype. I try to market through Instagram, through word of mouth, through my website, and through Google reviews, and then I've been trying to market even more so through TikTok. I would say Instagram is my big biggest marketing avenue, and then word of mouth. These are some of my investments, including eight to nine thousand dollars of initial investments, and then around five hundred to six hundred dollars a year of software, and then I have on average five hundred dollars every year of just continual investments in equipment. Financial projections, hopefully I'll be making uh, $30,000 this year. This is not including my contracted work. This is just including my personal sessions and things like that. Um, some milestones that I've been hitting. I did my first wedding two years ago. I'm in mirrorless cameras. I've got a really nice lens now, and I've kind of been switching into some uh, other types of photography as well, and then graduations on the horizon. I'm going to do photography full-time this summer. These are just some ways that I would love to improve my business if I had the time, and I plan on continuing to do so. Um, these are ways to get connected with my company, and thank you so much for your time.